Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to install Windows 11 without bloatware. If you want a clean installation of Windows without those promotional apps pinned to the start menu of the taskbar, like Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, and many other, there is a workaround that only involves selecting a specific option in the time and currency format setting during the setup. It is important to know that if you have a device from a known manufacturer, such as HP, Lenovo, Acer, and others, that uses a custom image of Windows, the regular process of performing a clean installation of Windows through the files provided by Microsoft already provides a less bloated experience. But it's also possible to install the operating system without those promotional apps from partners from the company. So let's dive into the steps. Before we actually dive into the steps, there are a few things that I want to mention and the first one is that this process will erase everything on the computer. You should only use these instructions when setting up a new installation. Also, let's assume that you created a backup of your files, settings, and everything on your computer. To complete this process, you will need to start the device with a USB bootable media with the latest version of Windows 11. I will include a link in the video description to the steps on how to complete this task. Also, you have to make sure that your device can start from USB, which you can do by changing the settings in the BIOS. In order to change these settings, you may need to check your manufacturer documentation because most computers have different interfaces to change these settings. Now, once you connect the USB bootable media with the installation files for Windows 11, you will need to start the computer, press any key to continue to boot into the Windows setup, and right on the first page, on time and currency format, we're gonna change the option. In my case, it will be English World. But you can also use any of the other options that include the word world. You can use this one right here or anyone depending on, on your language. So, and this is the option that allows the installation to proceed without installing any of the predefined applications that you always see on Windows 11 during a clean installation. Now you can continue with the regular steps to install Windows 11 on your computer. Now I'm just going to skip the Pro key. I'm going to proceed with the installation of Windows 10 Pro. And here I'm just going to choose the uh, custom option to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 without any bloatware. And then we're, I'm going to select the unallocated space and I'm going to click next to begin installation. Now, after the installation, during the initial setup, you're likely to get this error, but then we're going just to click the skip option, and then we're going to continue to set up the computer as normal. Select your keyboard layout and click yes. We're going to skip the uh, second keyboard layout. On this page, you can set a computer name, which is actually recommended, but I'm going to skip it for now. Now we're going to select the uh, setup for personal use and you're only going to see this option on Windows 10 Pro. On the home edition of Windows, you're not going to see this option. Now we're going to create an account. I'm going to authenticate with my phone. In my case, I'm not going to restart the computer from backup. So I'm going to click more options and I'm going to choose the setup as new PC. Now we're going to create a pin. On this page, you can choose your privacy settings. I'm just going to leave all defaults. I'm going to skip this option. I'm going to skip this option as well. And now the setup will take over and finish up the installation of Windows 11. And that's it. Now, when we open the start menu, we're going to see that we have a cleaner experience without third party applications or also known as bloatware. And if we go to the all apps section, we're going to see that we only have apps from Microsoft and not from third party companies. And finally, we have to use the settings app to configure the correct region settings for your installation. And to do that, open start and let's go to settings. And then we're gonna go to time and language. And then on language and region, under region, we're going to change country or region setting to the country that is specific to you. In my case, it's United States. And we're just going to leave the recommended formats. You don't need to do anything else, but you might want to restart the computer to apply the settings. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.